Hey guys, the kitchen is back. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is future Anna here. So I pre-recorded um, the video that you're watching now, that you're going to watch. But after I read through all of your comments on the How I Found My Lifestyle video, after I saw your reaction, after I read all of your messages that you left on my Instagram, I just wanted to come back and say thank you so much for the warm welcome. Listen, you guys. Oh no, me and Uno are family. Like, we're family over here and I appreciate it. But um, I just wanted to mention a few things before we jump into this video. The first is, you know, most, uh, somewhat most, I'm going to say, a lot of the comments are saying that you wish that the video would have been uh, longer. Guys, it's my first video back. And if you've been a part of this family for a bit, you know that my videos tend to be pretty long. So <laughs> it's not that I'm changing the format on that. It's not like I'm just going to be dropping five minute videos now or however long that video was. It's It was my first video back, so I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Another thing that I noticed, not not many comments, but there were like three comments. And yes, I read the three comments. And yes, I'm going to make a video about the three comments um, saying, I told you nothing. And, you know, where's all the information? First things first, I just want to say publicly, thank you so much for the very kind manner in which you have asked your questions really appreciate it i hope you know you've noticed the sarcasm but aside from that in all seriousness guys i have so many other platforms outside of youtube that have have so much information on there my instagram another money coach i drop so much content on there on a daily basis that's free sometimes i go live i go live pretty often over there too and i just talk about more stuff for free um Outside of that, I have my book, The Big Bad Book of Everything, that ha is just, it's 230 some pages of solid information. Solid information. Ask anybody who has, I'm going to just say, ask anybody who has that book, they will tell you. It's 230 some pages of solid information. And aside from all of that, if you want even more information, you can become a client. I have over 200 clients on a monthly basis. I'm going to be honest with you. I will never, ever come on here and drop any sort of blanket information for you to say everybody should go apply this. That's not how I work. You need to become a client so that I can get all this information from you. I need to know where you are at first before I can make any sort of suggestions. The channel, this channel is to, it's geared towards financial uh, education and it's to give you guidelines as to how to proceed. But if you want more information, you can become a client. All this information is, everything that I've said is available, the book, everything, the book, Become a Client, all of that, available at anapalomino.com. If you don't want to commit to either, you can follow my page, Anna the Pony Code. So anyway, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to talk about some things that will probably touch a nerve, but we need to address them because... For 2022, me don't want no broke people for in our family. Listen, we have to put in the work to make sure, say, we all are winning at the end of 2022. December 2022, all who broke now, we're not supposed to broke again, right? That's what we're working on. So in this video, I'm going to give you five, um, I'm going to tell you of five things that you are doing that are keeping you broke. Five habits that you currently have or you may currently have that are keeping you broke. The first uh, habit is that you don't have an emergency fund and anytime an emergency arises, you look to the bank as your emergency fund. You go to the bank for a loan, you go to, for some payday loan or you go take out some unsecured loan. You just go try to take out any sort of loan facility because now you have an emergency, now you need some money, you don't have an emergency fund and so you go to the bank. Listen, we need to stop this. We're not doing this in 2022. We're not going to no, do no payday loan with no interest rate of 50%. That's a thing. We're not doing that. What you need to do, you need to just build an emergency fund. Stop trying to find the easy way out and just put in the work and get it done. You need to establish an emergency fund. How are you going to establish an emergency fund? I think I have a, vi a whole video on this on my channel. I actually know what I'm thinking about it. I do have a video of, on this on my channel. So go watch that video and it will tell you how to start an emergency fund, how to build an emergency fund fast. That's the name of the video. 
how to build an emergency fund fast. That's the first habit. The second habit is FOMO, fear of missing out. This little habit here, I'm telling you, it's keeping you broke. Because every time your friends call you or every time you see your friends posting on Instagram that they're at some party or they're at some bar and they're having the night of their lives, you feel like you need to be there. You don't need to be nowhere in 2022 unless this is something that you have planned thoroughly, this is something that you are prepared for financially. You know, you put this aside from jump and you know that this is what you're going to do. For 2020, <laughs> I can't even say it. For 2020, for 20. 22, we're going to just park FOMO. We're, we're not going to be fretting about, you know, oh, my friends are at this party, I need to go. No, you need to put your goals in perspective. You know that this is what you're working towards and this is what you're going to do. If a night at Ribbies is not in your budget, don't go. You have goals that you're focusing on. You need to be building your emergency fund. You need to be building your investment account. You need to buy real estate, okay? These are the things that we're focusing on for 2022. Next up is you don't have a proper budget. Listen, let me share something with you guys. I teach, I teach my clients this in the Money Society. The word budget is like the word diet. Everybody is always on a diet. That's what the word, the word diet just means everything that you consume on a daily basis. So if you consume mcdonald's every hear my mcdonald's i must find me there if you consume burger king every single day that is your diet if you consume bush every single day that is your diet it just means everything that you consume so what you should say is that you're on a special diet if you're for example on keto or something that's what you mean the word budget is the same thing when you talk about a budget it's how you spend your money if you spend all of your money at KFC, that's your budget. It's a horrible one, but it's a budget, right? So what you need to have, you need to have a proper budget. Stop winging this. That's not gonna work, okay? You need to sit down before you even get paid. You need to put out, you need to lay out a plan for your money. Guys, this is 2022. I keep saying this, we can't like, I don't want to hear anybody talking about 2023 is my year in December. I want you to look back and say, boy, 2022 was such a great year. And we're in January now, so you have time. Do put these things in place first. Install a proper budget. Design a proper budget and stick to it. Okay? Okay, guys. So it started raining. So now this is why I'm here. But I was talking about the other point. And the next point I want to mention uh, is emotional spending. Listen, guys, I know what you're going through because I used to do this. And sometimes I still do this. You know, sometimes I get one little emotional lick and I just find myself on Amazon. <laughs> we want to, every time I move this finger and that finger, I end up on Amazon. I get it. But we just have to have some discipline to know that, listen, these are our goals and we're going to just stay. We're going to stick to the plan. You cannot expect that you're going to hit these targets if you keep blowing your money every time you're emotionally affected. I know it's difficult to hear, but you just need to take it from me. Take it from me. It is a habit that is keeping you poor. What I want you guys to get in the habit of thinking, um, or, or what I want you guys to get in the habit of, is when you think of money, or you're thinking of buying something, if it's something that you decided in the moment that you want to buy, walk away from it. Come back to it a week later. Come back to it maybe even two weeks later. If you still feel like you need it two weeks later, you probably actually do need it, right? And aside from that, what I want you to do is I want you to think of that thing that you're trying to buy and how much it costs, but think about it in the context of maybe stock and the earning potential of stock in the future. So is this worth it now? So is this worth it now? You know, just me buying, is it worth me? Let me use an example. Is this cushion worth it now? Two weeks later, you still think you need a cushion, but you could have bought maybe a thousand stock in this company that would produce X amount of income later on. Is it worth it? That's what I want you to think about. That's how I want you guys to think. That's how I think. That's how I, my clients think. We think of money in the context of earning potential. Right? And that will help you when it comes to your emotional spending because best believe 
emotional spending is keeping you poor okay the final habit that is keeping you poor is gonna it's gonna take you it's like a slap you like no, never slap you before because you're not gonna expect me to say this but hear what a habit that is keeping you poor is drum roll please saving i bet you never expect that you saving your money in your bank account is keeping you poor let me just explain this in 30 seconds one inflation is at five percent your bank account is giving you 0.025 percent interest you can't compete you're losing money when you keep your money in a savings account and this is not a secret michael leachin explained this in an interview that he did he said himself mr ncv said himself that you need to get in the habit of investing not saving saving is keeping you poor okay so what you want to do if you're not an avid investor if you don't inv if you don't understand how to invest start with a unit trust product there's so many of them go to jmb um, you can do the income and growth or you can go to sagicore you can do the sagigold or the equity multiplier you can do the guaranteed investor there's so many products that you can choose from in the market just start with a unit trust product first then you you know learn more about investing and the stock market and what the more you learn the more you can build out your investment portfolio you can then decide oh you know what i'm going to open a brokerage account which i'll talk about all this in another video but you know that's when you start picking stock on your own etc so just bottom line stop saving it's giving you broke you know that TikTok trend? I saw this TikTok trend, guys. I don't think it's a trend anymore. But I saw this TikTok video. Not a video. It was a trend. I saw the TikTok trend, but a couple months back, maybe a couple weeks back, of people showing their bank accounts. Uh, how does you want money? Money. Danar, the, 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 the sound that Danar did. What Brockman, Brockman. That, that sound that Danar, um, Life of a King did everybody was putting up their bank balance behind them to that sound and just basically showing off and every time i saw that trend i was just like pointing them don't even understand they know not what they do your account is not supposed to look like that <laughs> in fact if i saw an account that said like two dollars and fifty cents i would be more impressed with that account than i would be of two million five hundred dollars two point five million dollars why because that money in your savings account you are losing it the value is going down it's being depleted by you just keeping it in your savings account it needs to be in stock it needs to be in real estate it needs to be in overseas stock it needs to just not be in your savings account all right so that's all i have for you today guys um please i'm really hoping that you're not if you are practicing these habits that i talked about in this video obviously it's never too late to change just bear everything that i said in mind and we can work on it for this year all right don't forget to like subscribe comment and share i'll see you in my next video